And our final year we did um, a video project which was we were just given like free reign to do pretty much anything we wanted to do which I thought was really good. Um, mine was on OCD, it was a bit hard going like the topic thing, OCD was something that I wanted to look into a bit further so it gave me an opportunity to do that and have complete free reign over it which was really good. Yeah I think it has been allowed us, uh, well it has allowed us to be quite creative. Uh, when you were studying as part of your study did you undertake any extracurricular or activity or work placement? It was halfway through my, my second year when I had to kind of really start thinking about what I wanted to do when I finished university so I uh, the media was something that I was always interested in so I joined the waterfront newspaper uh, on the sports team uh, as well as that I did some work for extreme radio um, outside of the university I did a week's work experience at South Wales Evening Post I did a couple of things for Swansea Life magazine uh, and then during my final year I got in touch with Swansea City Football Club and did some things for their match day programme and attended all their home games uh, in a press capacity and then uh, that led to me being offered a job once I graduated from Swansea. The department I work in now is, is of five people so you have to work, work well in a team. Um, my dissertation which I undertook in my final year and obviously writing now in the media is what I do so those two organisation and and writing skills are the two things that have, that have really helped me the most, I would say. Did you have to give presentations as part of your degree? Yeah, the first year we did, the uh, first two years actually, there was a couple of group, group presentations and we still do that now um, in the work I do at the moment. If you pitch in ideas to companies and, and things like that, you need to be confident in the way that you put forward your ideas and formulate them in a way which are clear and, and concise. With the video side of things, it's definitely something that I want to go into and it's something that I have well I have been applying for recently to go into like production side of things so. especially with interviewing because you have to you have to go make the contacts and you have to go outside university for a lot of it because a lot of it you can't source within so that that was really good I think that's good for your confidence I think that's good to go out and, and work with people anyway people so if you can go out there and, and make a connection with them I think that's quite good really and did you have um, a favourite topic, a period or a topic as part of your history degree? Probably when I did my dissertation on the First World War and the impact that that had on sport in Britain, working in, in sport now and in particular football was something that I touched upon on massively in there and to go away and do the research on, on something that I was so passionate about was, uh, was quite enjoyable. Did you do undertake any like extracurricular work when you were studying? My role as a student ambassador is to help out on open days talking to parents prospective students what questions they had about courses societies nightlife tours around the university as well which gave me confidence in dealing with large groups of people and just basically just people skills that have gone on and and got me to where i am today in your role as student ambassador did you have input on how you performed in that role it was guided at first but once the first few were throughout the way it was pretty well um, you know, you were responsible for, you know, the coordinators felt that you were confident enough to go away and, and they could leave you to it really if you coordinated with the lecturers and, and the professors as well and, you know, as a whole, the whole encompassing thing was, was one that was, was really good. So would you say in your, in your job here at Swansea City, you're using the skills that you learnt through your study and through your extracurricular activity? Oh, most definitely, yeah, I mean everything I, each work experience placement that I I undertook, I learned so much from and even if it's just one thing you learned from, from one thing and then four or, four, four or five things from another, you, you pick up different things from, from the people you work with and, and that all, all comes towards where, you, where you're working to now. Everyone knows that university is not, not there just for, for work all the time, you do have to have a bit of fun but you are there ultimately to get a degree which will enhance your, your job prospects at the end and I think the more students can get involved with things the moment they set foot inside Swansea then then that will that will serve them well for the better in the future I think so if they want to set themselves apart from the rest of the, the applicants then they need to to enhance their CV and uh, work experience is the best way to do that. I know you did work for the waterfront yep. um, do you want to tell us a bit about that? Yeah I started it was probably halfway through my second year where <laughs> could get could oh, get absolutely soaked. Oh my god! Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Quickly. <laughs> <laughs>